Yo, what's good, YouTubes? It's your boy from the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is, the Everyday City Carry. Hey, Big Red. You Ray, bro? Are you me? That was a hilarious video that Big Red made, Big Red EDC. If you haven't subscribed to him, you should. He created this sort of parody video of like how I review knives and I thought it was freaking hilarious. It was so well done. He captured sort of my inflections and cadence of speaking and terms and all this other stuff. He had the band-aids, he had everything. So if you guys like my stuff, you're gonna love this video. I'm gonna link that in the description. But today, what are we checking out today? We're checking out two knives from Russia. They are from Bobby, not Bobby. That's what this series is gonna be called. From Bobby, not Bobby, I think. This is the Alexandra Shaburkov Large Strige. And then we've got the Custom Knife Factory Morph 5. What's dope about it? What's whack about it? Or if you should forget about it? What's dope about it? Alright, so the first knife we're gonna check out is the Morph 5. I gotta talk about the action. The action is 100% fire, okay? Dialed in is what I'd say to describe the action since talking about tolerances and bearings is not my forte. This knife is easy to deploy and it's definitely drop shot ready. This fits extremely well in my small fish paws. The pocket clip doesn't poke at you even when you're gripping hard. You can really bear down on this thing. The flipper tab becomes this sort of guard once the knife is deployed. The look fits well with the design. Let's get into some of the features that I've noticed on the More 5. You do have weight reduction in the handle scales, which is expected of a knife in this price range. The top jimping is slightly curved, which fits perfectly with the shape and the design of this knife. I noticed the jimping is also spaced out and deep. It's aggressive enough, as you can see from the skin cells that have been left in here. You've got a stop pin that runs through on both sides, a feature pointed out to me by Bobby, not Bobby. The blade steel is M390. Bowler M390 is widely revered as the best all-around knife steel, which has led top companies to widely utilize it in their higher-end knives. M390 exhibits excellent edge retention, corrosion resistance, and high-level toughness. Stole that from Blade HQ, so you know that's the truth right there. If you look at the pocket clip, you'll see there's this ceramic ball at the end there. That allows the more 5 to slip in and out of the pocket much easier. One of my favorite features on any knife, this thing is gram ready. It stands on its own, which means 
You can take pictures of this, which is part of being a knife guy, which is taking pictures of your knives and putting them on Instagram. Do you guys notice the texture on the carbon fiber inlays match the titanium? How do they do that? I don't know, but it looks great. So on the aesthetic side, you've got this sort of futuristic scimitar vibe. The more 5 could easily be straight out of Halo, Gears of War, Starcraft, things like that. That being said, this is a very attractive knife. Now let's talk about the Alexander Chaburkov Large Strige. Classy aesthetics, alright? This is a beefy knife, a large, large gentleman's folder. That's how I feel about it. It is pretty light though. 3.4 ounces with an overall length of 8.27 inches. You've got great ergos, rounded edges everywhere. Nice jimping on the thumb ramp. There's liner lock jimping, it's pretty rough but super effective and adds to the design of this manly ass knife. The action is addictive, there's this super loud thwack. You can actually front flip this, it's not intended to be that way but you can definitely do it. Now on the materials you've got a Damascus blade, beautiful carbon fiber scales, and this thing runs on phosphor bronze washers. What's whack about it? Before I get into this, I just want to say that these are nitpicky AF because I think that these knives are near perfect, if not perfect already. For the CKF More 5, the thumb ram jimping does its job really well. A little too well. As you can see here, and I've talked about it before, you've got all this funny skin stuff within the jimping. The three lines on the blade here, I don't think they're necessary. I don't even think this fits into the overall design. The screws don't lay flat on the textured scales. I kind of like that, but if I'm being nitpicky, I'm going to point that out. Now for the Alexander Chaburkov Large Strige. The liner lock is aggressive, like I've said before, and might hurt your hand with some hard work. I say might because I didn't use this thing at all. I'm mainly going off feel and ergos. This is a right-handed knife only. There's no thumb stud on the left side. You can front flip the knife from the left, but that's not the intended purpose for deploying this thing, so I'm going to have to give it a strike for that. Do you forget about it? Normally I'd say something like, oh man, these are too expensive. But having the CKF More 5 and the Alexander Chaburkov Large Shrige for almost a month, I can honestly say these are worth it. Although near $400 knives are not within my price range, I'm more than tempted to not buy a knife for a year or so to dive into this market. With these two knives, you can clearly see what you are paying for. Excellence. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.